dear friends from all over the world it's Annette and welcome in Anime's lovely place and here I have with me today Benjamin and Benjamin is the real born Harlow by Bountiful Baby and he is reborn by Sarah Fitzgerald from Lullaby Lane Reborn Nursery and uh, she lives in uh, Ireland and she was on Reborns.com, but I don't know if she's still on there. Anyway, here is my sweet Benjamin, because it's his turn. But it's Wednesday, and on Wednesdays we wear pink. So I wanted to add to that, on Wednesdays we wear pink and blue. Yes, so I hope Shara from Reborn Living's Doll that you don't mind. Because yeah, I only had the boys left for for the changing so yeah I really had to come on with one boy so I thought well I am going to add this that on Wednesdays we wear pink and blue so my dear Benjamin is going to wear blue and he is already in blue bonjour petit marin and that was for team Thursday about the sea life I think well, I don't know anymore what exactly the subject was, but I think it was something like sea life. Anyway, I also want to talk with you. Oh, I'm going to put this on him. It's a uh, je uh, jeans, blue blue jeans, uh, blue yeah, blue denim dungaree short with buttons on it and pockets because because this is not a real pocket because and two real pockets because babies need pockets of course and that's uh, a saying from our friend Susan from Susan Babies or it's from Gail from Susie Q's Happy Little Haven sorry I mix up things sorry for your dear friends when I am saying things that are wrong please forgive me uh, there are buttons and uh, it's with the blue and white striped inner part of the and here's blue and white and I have a t-shirt I found that with the doll clothes of our children dollies and it's when I worked in hospital and this was the first t-shirt that people did get for their baby when their baby was born and I also worked at the um, delivery rooms so I have this t-shirt so I thought well that is nice to put under it so that we will do and in the meantime I will talk oh and he's a lovely lovey with him a, uh, a bunny I will talk about the topic with you and I did write it down on the paper because I am not I, I am actually I am a writer so um that's going better for me so I hope that will work we try it out and the topic is about what I want to share about is where we all have to deal with when we are having a channel a dolly channel doll related adult channel then we all have to do with sometimes getting cruel comments yes and you know what I do um, and and I think it's mostly, mostly it's from people that don't understand our beautiful hobby but maybe it can also come sometimes from within our hobby and that's even more difficult that is always more difficult, yes uh, but I didn't get from within yet but I did get from outside and um, yeah the, what I do with the cruel comment is deleting it. Do I have to take this out? No, I can leave it on. Um, deleting it immediately. And when I see it. And not trying not to pay any attention. Well, not paying any attention to the person. I don't answer or something. I just delete it without without uh, anything you know and and I try then sorry there is another train coming by 
and then I, I try not, not to pay attention for myself with it also and I try not to let it touch my heart what the person did right to me but but yeah that is more difficult of course um, uh, it's it, um, what what I did get a few times now uh, not not much times but I have a small channel and that's also a reason I like to keep my channel small um, so please when you don't want to subscribe don't do it I, I never will ask will you subscribe because yeah you know when you are growing um, there's more attention for your channel and you have more chance to get those nasty comments well anyway that's another subject <laughs> uh, but it's sometimes um, uh, something like this you need to find help because this is not normal try find help and it's in capital capital letters and or you can better give the money to poor children who don't have those clothes yeah I know that I know I know that uh, the world is not equally uh, divided I know that we are very rich and that there are people who uh, have to to look if they uh, get food for coming through today I know that and it and it it upsets me and it makes me makes me angry and it makes me sad you know but I've also learned that I can yeah well I can do something about it and we do that but yeah yeah maybe not enough I don't know but anyway that touches my heart you know when people write so does the those kind of things but I immediately I, I delete them immediately I'm uh, going out of the subject out of what I have written down but it doesn't matter because it's all in the same subject um, yeah but yeah you know uh, it, it does hit me of course that's how we are in this hobby we are very sensible, sensible persons I, and I think that's something in this hobby we all have well maybe there are some exceptions uh, but most people are very sensible and I've learned in life that you can put aside the lies the half lies the cruel things the nasty and awful things and that you don't have to do anything with it but only this try to forget it as soon as possible yeah. and, and, and this is something I also say to myself you know because um, it's hard for me too yes and that's why I wanted to talk about it and share it with you because I saw a video of, of a lovely lady who had to go through a lot of things and she uh, also did get hatred and yeah I, I, I feel uh, I, I feel feel uh, yeah so I, f I felt the need to, to talk about it because last weekend I did get uh, one of s uh, such a uh, nasty comment and uh, from somebody from outside the hobby I think so yeah uh, anyway uh, where was I okay uh, so try to forget it as soon as possible and I say it to myself and put on the armor of God we can keep those cruel arrows that are coming through us from us and not touching our heart by wearing the shield of faith and that shield of faith learned us that learns us that we are worthy. So when we when we have the faith in the Lord, we know we know the Lord, and He tells us you are worthy. So uh, then we uh, we have did learn that we are worthy, we are loved, we are special, because the Lord loves us, and the Lord is the one who created everything, and who holds everything in His hands, and who also takes care of the of the poor people um, and he says that you are loved and special it's his endless love for us you are a dearly loved child of God the most high who did create you did want you did pour out his love for you 
and me and the only one who knows where we have to go through in life because he did suffer all we have to suffer in this earthly life abandonment from by relatives rejection violence abuse he did go through it all that's what did help me to go through many trials in life too and still I have to learn that I should keep some things out of my heart and not to get poisoned by the words of a stranger isn't it strange that I am guided by words of someone I don't know at all better to let me guided by the one that I know the Lord Jesus from the Bible my personal guide through life and he says he says I love you with my enduring love and that brings me to this book and Benjamin is ready you see he is ready oh it's cute on him I didn't put it before on him but it's very cute on him oh, he's such and he was my first my first reborn baby that I did buy and he is so cute yes he's cute and he has a Passy from Winnie the Pooh. I made it myself, and I always put some some uh, fabric to uh, to protect the paint. So here he is, my sweet boy. Oh, I love him. I love it. It's nice the white shirt under it. Yes, it's cute. <laughs> so yeah. So I will read for you. Enduring love. From the book Daily Inspiration for Women. God's love endured forever. What a wonderful thing to know when the tides of life run against you and your spirit is downcast and low. Psalm 170, 17, verse 2 says, For great is his steadfast love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. How has the love of God surprised you in the past? Well, the love of God surprised me in many ways. And I think this hobby is one of the things that surprised me. That he doesn't, he doesn't uh, say you cannot do that. It's not good. Um, he, he says enjoy life. Be as a child. And, and, and honor me in everything. And even in this hobby, we can honor the Lord. And, and because the Lord will always be the first one. The one who gave us life. The one who loves us. And the one who smiles at us when he sees that we enjoy life. And that we enjoy the little things. Yes. And that we are grateful. And that we share with others. And that we are compassionate and, and sensible. Yes. But we can also stay strong by putting on his armor with the, the shield of faith before us. And there is a prayer in this. Father, I am so glad that old saying, all good things must come to an end, isn't true. Your fast love for me never ends. It started from the moment I was created in my mother's womb and will continue throughout eternity. No matter what challenges I face, no matter how low I feel, that love will embolden me to live above my circumstances. Praise you, Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching, my sweet lovely Benjamin wish you a very blessed Wednesday and Shara from Reborn Living's Door thank you for hosting on Wednesdays we wear pink and blue for the boys bye bye love you all